Now it's been about a month since I've been able to play Texas Chainsaw Massacre and I legitimately don't play shit no more. I've been itching to get my hands on this game and I'm gonna be honest, I miss playing as a family, Leatherface in a hole. Yo. The fuck? Hello? Yo? Yeah, yeah, hello? Hello? Yeah, y'all weird. Y'all y'all really weird, bro. Seeing that it is so close to us yet so far, I wanted to drop this video. I ain't never made no wish list or nothing like that for this game officially, so let's go ahead and get into it. I don't want to see no comments talking about this isn't what we need now. Wait till the game come out. I'm not trying to hear that. I, look, 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 say it with me. Everybody in the chat right now, say it with me. It is going to be okay, okay? Listen, it is going to be okay. I promise it's going to be okay. Now, the first thing isn't even something I came up with, really. This actually came from a supporter by the name of RJB. Shout out my guy, RJB. So we all know tone and aesthetic is very important to horror movies and horror games, which is why I'm calling for rain. We need rain. Now, I would only call for this for the daytime maps, and this could only be set by the family. It wouldn't be too fair for you to be the victim. You add rain to a map, that would just make it harder for the family to get you. They're doing the hunting. So we need to add the option. I mean, me personally, I would like this. I would love the option. Rain, daytime maps, only available and optional for the family members. Let me know what y'all think down below though. I only say optional because it's, it's just not right to have it as a set thing. It's kind of like the HUD on some of the maps. Like you can turn the HUD on or off, like the, pretty much your indicator that the family's near you or far away, blah, blah, blah. You guys know it, but you can turn that on or off in the game. So why not have it with rain? I would like that. It would add to the aesthetic and I ain't gonna lie, it's romantic as hell. Who wouldn't want to be in the rain and having some barbecue? Am I right? So the next one would definitely be more close calls. I think that's what they're called. I might be wrong. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. So feel free to check me on my terminology. But if you guys don't know, both family members and victims, you know, if you're a victim, you have to, for this to work, by the way, you would have to have a bone shard for the victim. So pretty much if you guys didn't know, if you have a bone shard and a family member comes at you and you both press the attack button at the same time, you pretty much go into an animation where you guys pretty much are in a tussle. And I ain't gonna lie, it's probably one of the best things about this game. I fucking love the fact that they put that in there. But whoever pretty much button mashes the most and comes out on top within that exchange, you know, they pretty much, you know, you either get free or you don't pretty much whoever comes out on top. Imagine a time where a victim falls due to an attack and instead of like waiting for them to stand up, you know, as a family member, you can drag them. Now stay with me here. Also imagine if you're the victim laying on the ground and you have the option to kick the family member. So let's just say a victim and a family member both initiate their attack at the same time. It should still go into the drag animation both would have to button mash so on the victim side you're getting dragged you would have to still button mash to get out of it and on the family member side you would still have to drag while controlling with the left analog stick but like i said still have to button mash this goes into what i talked about earlier much like i explained with the daytime maps on the rain imagine being able to drag a victim through the mud and everything just getting the filth all over them whether they get free or not we really see they've been going through it now like i said i feel like there should be like a cool down low key for like when family members are attacking victims like let's just say a family member attack the victim i don't think the victim should just be able to spam the kick button right away there should kind of be like a, a cool down like it's kind of hard to explain i still really haven't like gone into detail about it on how i'd exactly do it but pretty much like y'all get the point i'll probably make another video on it if need be but let me know what y'all think like same thing with inside the house whether you're upstairs being dragged downstairs or you're just being dragged through in the basement i want to see those battle scars i want to see the the griminess you getting you getting hit by door frames and shit along the way like i want to see that kind of stuff so please please consider it because i ain't gonna lie that shit would be amazing and i think i speak for everyone when i say the cinematics for this game have been on point 
from the cutscenes and just everything we've seen with the game, you can tell they're really pushing for the cinematic aspect of it, especially with the tone. And of course, it's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You got to go crazy for it. But of course, with Friday the 13th, we got a cutscene to begin the match. And also in Texas, we do as well. But with the last trailer we got for this game, I love the fact that the, it's very cinematic for one. The cook comes out, you know, he kind of spews some dialogue. And that alone could be an introduction to a match. If they can give us that, and just we have like two two intros all together two or three i'm down with that the more the like honestly like the the last trailer y'all gotta go watch it they went crazy it's just very cinematic and if we can get a few of those i would love that also we can have the same for in matches in of course we've seen leatherface hitting the chainsaw dance i would in all honesty love to see more cutscenes for the introduction and the outro for these matches but let me know what y'all think. I'm not trying to get too crazy with the with my wish list, but I'm not gonna lie. It's just this this game is piecing up very very smoothly. I also would love to see in the game, and this is specifically for the family house. We all know there's a particular exit to where you pretty much exit the main gate, you cut right, and once you get past a certain spot, you have succeeded in escaping the family. I would love to see some kind of vehicle of some sort there, whether it be a van, you know. In the 70s, they love their van. So maybe a van, a truck or some sort, just to kind of like get, I don't know, just that extra touch on something. I know you kind of like cut to the right and you just kind of like wander, you know, along the road, but you know, some kind of vehicle on that part of the map, once you do escape would be very nice. Um, nothing major, but it's just something else that, you know, it would just be nice to have. I think another one, and probably this, this might be the last one, depending on how I go about this video, but more dialogue. Not only are these characters on both sides likable, people are already drawing up who they want to be the most. Sonny over here, even though I didn't get to play as him much in the technical test, I really like Sonny and I like a lot of the victims here. Um, I would love to see more dialogue throughout each map. I would love to see them, for example, and I talked about this before, calling out to Maria. Maria, are you here? Maria, where are you? Just random dialogue. I think you don't really have to do chunks of dialogue. You can just do little snippets and pieces of dialogue because as you guys know, Anna is a sister of Maria. Maria went missing. Anna gathered all of Maria's friends and they are here to find Maria. So we all are asking, will we see Maria anyway? So it will be nice to have dialogue in the game. I would love to like this is like probably like number one on my list if I'm being honest I think that just adds the icing to the cake if we don't see Marie in the game or discover her at least the dialogue just kind of like it just I love it every time these characters talk cook especially it's just gold so please please consider it but let me know what you guys think down below I'm not gonna lie I might have to cook up another list and if you guys want me to put some of your suggestions in the video let me know as well but I ain't gonna lie to y'all we we gotta we gotta see something i gotta see something please i gotta see something but i appreciate you guys for watching and i'm gonna see y'all next time